Welcome to IT in 5. My name is Garrett Brown, where we review MSP vendor demos in under five minutes. So today we're going to be doing a demo from an industry veteran, Network Detective Pro, which some of you know very well. For Rapid Fire Tools, can say your own company, they say they can minimize a week-long IT assessment to hours, providing you time to increase your opportunities to make a sale. So let's jump into the demo. Here's what we saw, and here is what we liked. So Network Detective Pro works off of a desktop application. At the top of the screen menu, it will host your general administrative features such as keeping up with appliances, plans, users, billing, preferences, and more. Sites are your customers, physical locations, or whatever groupings that you decide to name. It's designed as multi-tenancy, and you can see your icons with your site name, the assessment status, and the checklist progress. So starting off, once you filled out the basics, you're going to want to download and run the data collector at the customer site. So as this is a desktop app, you can be prompted to download the latest version of the data collector online. The setup shows you a scan guidance and the steps. If you've ever used Net Network Tech prior on a site, you can take advantage of any prior prep, such as loading settings from a file or open a working folder that you were setting up. To run this and get the data that you need, you can run this from your laptop, join to a prospect or customer's domain or workgroup. The collector walks you through the scan setup, and the first step is scan type. You'll find three major scan types you'll need for assessment. Network Data Collector, Local Computer, and Security Data Collector. You can also choose one or multiple scans you want to run. Next step will prompt you to join the Active Directory or the work group. Once you've joined, you can click through all the steps unless you want to configure something specific, such as you want to configure local domains, additional credentials, external domains, IP ranges, and more. Then you verify your settings, you run it, and it will show you your collection status. Once the scan is done, you're going to jump over to the Network Detective application. You click on the scan site. The site has its own dashboard. It will show you the progress of the overall assessment, what step the assessment is on, and other information that you might find important. Click on the import scan file, and you can import a single or multiple scan files at once. And when you have your results, you can jump over to preferences which you structure your assessment report with the information that you want your client to see. You can modify the report's text format, white label your logo, select a theme, cover your images, and your company information. You can also choose to override the information that if you don't want it to be in a report, you don't have to. It's at your discretion. Once you've imported your scan data, you can go over to the report at the top. It'll give you reports based on the data that you collected. They group the reports for you in a commonly used report sets, which address key touch points for the MSP. Here you'll see the report sets based on prospecting, selling, scope and new client onboarding, QBR, and more. They show me a few reports they generated somewhere. Network assessment, client risk and security assessment, data breach, cloud reports, QBR, and more. The reports are designed as a customer-facing document that will help them digest and understand the data that you're presenting to them about their network. These reports aren't just one-off reports, as they can present change data. If you've had a prior scan, they can also show you the change based around the prior data and the current data. For example, one section of the report lists the users who are inactive but enabled, which could point out to them, hey, this is an ex-employee whose accessibility was, was never removed. Another section from the data breach liability report will show deep scan results such as PI data, what computer reverse missing patches. With this data, you can surface potential monetary value that, that they could be looking at if something went really bad, bad actor kind of situation. Under the rapid fires portal, you can also view the data as well. They have it laid out very nicely and you can drill down to any asset. So assessments, they're used by MSPs throughout the entire customer life cycle. Starting with relationship, ongoing, and 50 other reasons why an assessment is critical. We need to have accurate and up-to-date information about what's on the network, compromises, risk, and the cloud, and more. I like how Network Detect Pro laid out the processes for running their assessments. Their interface is great, it's easy, you can get to it. I think it's safe to say one of their strengths, aside from deep data they're pulling, is their reports, particularly the report group, and where I can click their pull reports for the needed life cycle stage. I think it's cool because I don't have to go through hundreds of reports. The data pools from what I saw are exactly what I would be expecting and I appreciate the way they present the data in a way where the client can understand it and so I'm not trying to figure out how to explain it to them. Unlike some of those out there, they assess from a local machine which can have its advantages. So let's take a look at their channel program profile which is under rapid fire tools. They have over 8,000 MSP partners get a dedicated account manager. Pricing is annual at 36 months, paid monthly, $4.99 a month, up to 50 customer sites. The additional sites are packs of five at $10 per site. They cover Windows, Mac, and Linux. So go over to channelprogram.com, search for Network Detective Pro, or search for them in our 
Explorer category, Risk and Compromise Assessment. My name is Garrett Brown. Thank you very much for watching ITU5. I'll see you out there.